Greetings and thank you so much for giving us the opportunity to come to you today, spend these few moments with you. We trust that these short episodes on how to interpret dreams and what to do with them uh, is of help to you. We would encourage you uh, to be more alert to the dreams that God might be sending to you and speaking to you and it would awaken us to uh, being more receptive and active participants in the dreams he gives to us. You see, we are living in that time of visions and dreams. Uh, the prophet Joel spoke about it. Peter prophet, repeated that prophecy in Joel in Acts chapter 2, 17 and 18, where he said, In the last days, I will pour out my spirit on all flesh, upon your sons and your daughters. Your young men will see visions and your old men will dream dreams. Now, it doesn't mean uh, God excludes old men from seeing visions or young men from having dreams. No, um, young men and old people of all ages can experience visions and dreams. Now, typically when God speaks in the night, we call that a dream and God is giving us a visual during the day when, when we're alert, we call that a vision. So God is speaking to us when we're awake and when we're asleep. We're dealing specifically with dreams and how to process them. What do we do with them? And I just want to share two more thoughts here uh, as we talk about interpreting dreams. Today, I just want to bring our attention to the importance of praying for the fulfillment of the dream. So usually when God gives you a dream, you write it down, you write down the meaning, what you sense, uh, and, and uh, you've, you've put down what those figures mean. You see, the best person to interpret the dream is you yourself because you're the one who was in that, who received that dream and you're, you are very aware of all the details you saw, the colors you saw and the emotions that you felt. So you're the best person to interpret the dream. Now, suppose you're unable to then definitely ask somebody who may be spiritually mature. You share the dream with them and they may be able to help interpret the dream. We see that in the Bible as well. And God used certain people with that special gift to be able to interpret dreams. So you could go to somebody who's very, um, who, who's very, uh, who's been gifted by God, who understands, who discerns, who's prophetic, who is keen to the things of the Spirit to help you interpret the dream. Now, don't go to just any anyone, but go to somebody who knows how to do it, whom God is using in that manner. Now, so you write down that dream. You can get help. You write down the dream, and very important, you write down the meaning of that dream. And then you begin to pray for the fulfillment of that dream. If God has spoken to you about something in that dream, something He's shown you is He wants to fulfill in your life, something He's shown you He wants to carry out through you, something He's shown you to do, to act upon, maybe a task to fulfill, a mission to carry out, or maybe uh, something He wants you to do for somebody else. Whatever that is, if it involves you, or if it involves somebody else, that God is saying that, you know, that might happen to that person. God's alerted you to that. You begin to pray over it, whether it's for yourself or whether it's for somebody else. So praying over the fulfillment of the dream is so important. If it's a dream that's about danger that's going to happen, you pray to avert that danger. You say, God, this will not happen. You know, if you've seen somebody have an accident, you say, God, I pray that this accident will not happen. If you see some danger happening to somebody, God, I pray that this danger will not happen, that you protect them. So the reason God's giving that to you is to alert you so that you can engage in prayer and protect that person. It's not to create alarm. It's not to create, it's not to go and tell that person that that is going to happen. No, he's given it to you so that you can prevent it from happening and protect that person, preserve that person through the, the, the dream that God has given you. So it's so important to engage prayerfully based on the dream that God has shown to you. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you that this is the time and you speak to us in visions and dreams. And I pray you'll help us, God, to act on those dreams, to pray over those dreams, and to see, to do what you want us to do with those dreams that you give to us. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.